Hello folks, welcome back. I'm the one, the only Hobo Tom, and I am clearing off my calendar of stuff to do for a hair change. I have to talk about this very quickly. AEW. Oh, as you can saw the Forbidden Door. Wow. It gets long. I'll tell you what. And I know if you're going to pay 50 bucks for it, I guess you want the four hours. That time frame from 8 to midnight, that's a, and 7 o'clock if you count the pre-show. It's five hours. That gets... I'll tell you what, I like that. I got WWE like 11.45... Like 11 o'clock, like basic shows, 11.30 sometimes. The shows go till midnight. Remember, I'm on the East Coast too. So people say, oh yeah, this ended at 9 o'clock Pacific time. No, that's because people on the East Coast were like, jeez, don't I have to freaking go to work. But yeah. Um, yeah, so I can scratch that off. No, one of those done at least. That's good. Yeah. So this is again AEW Forbidden Door. Um, overall, it was actually pretty entertaining. There were some high points. There were some low points. And there were some not so high points. Uh, so let me go through things quickly. Uh, overall, I did pretty good guessing-wise. I think I got, from my guesses, 10 out of 14 right. 14 wrestling matches. A lot of them were multi-man matches, so that, that always kind of throws a work into it. But let's see here. Um... Oh wow. I actually did that. Yeah, that was pretty bad. So let's start off with the I guess opening card. Um the pre-show, I guess. Might as well. This is gonna be a fairly quick video. So it was QT Marshall and Aaron Solo Go Go Camarato. No. It was just QT Marshall versus and Aaron Solo versus um, Yoshitashi and Haruto Goto. Or Goto. I forget how to pronounce their name. Um, for this, I had, you can actually see, I actually drew my line underneath that. I actually got all the pre show ones right. That was pretty impressive. Um, well, mainly because, well, QT Marshall is the jobber to everyone. Yeah, uh, Yoshihashi and Hiroto Godu won. Solid match. I mean, the thing is, it was just predictable. You're going to see a lot of this. This match was a ham sandwich. Let's see here. It was... Lee and Strickland, uh, yeah, Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland versus El Desperado and Konomaru. I, I can't pronounce these freaking names. There's, there's too many. They all sound the freaking same to me. Actually, a lot of them are the same, too. Uh, very simply, yeah. Swerve and Keith Lee won. That's going to further fuel whatever's happening with them. Another ham sandwich, though. It was QT Mark. Then, no, we already did that. It was Lance Archer versus Nick Komorato Gogo Solo. No, yeah. Yeah, just Lance Archer versus Nick Camarato. I'm sorry, Nick. Even though I do have your autograph there on the Door of Wrestling, which might be changed up. So I was taking a look at that Door of Wrestling, and I realized 
a lot of those names are no longer with us. The only issue is that, oh wait, maybe there's one, two, two can go. Indy's still around. She's not here. Lana, well, yeah, Casey's here. I don't know. I'll have to make up. And I'll have to make an executive decision one day. Yeah, Nick Camarado's name is up there. The door of wrestling. I'm sorry, though, man. This is Lance Archer talking about a ham sandwich. Oh, yeah, Lance Archer won. Ham sandwich. And then I guess the main event of the undercard. Jeez. I don't know what you'd rather be. You ought to be the main event. Yes, it's important to be the main event of the Bayern. You have to main event something. It was the Ass Boys, um, actually the Gun Club, Colton, his other brother, and Billy Gunn, along with Max Catcher, who's amazing on the microphone, versus... I have no clue who these people are. I, they're just known as the Young Lions from New Japan. Again, Max Caster, the probably the, the known people, Max Caster, the Gun Club won. Um, Dan Housen did show up. You know what match they should have had in the pre-show? It would have been good. Yano versus Dan Housen. AEW really dropped the ball on that. This match itself, again, Caster and the Gun Club won. Yeah, ham sandwich. Again, if you miss it, it's not too bad. I'll take a little break. Let's toss in a Yano there before we get to the main card. But yeah, because... Let's see, where is it? I don't know, it's on the back. New Japan Pro Wrestling. Right there. I just don't feel like spinning all the way around. Let's do the back of my head. I wonder what the back of my head does look like. There we go. Right there, New Japan Pro Wrestling. There we go. Oh, uh, thankfully I did with that video delay, so I did see that. Okay, um, I forget where this card started now. Let's see here. Start off with that. I don't know. I'm just gonna go by what I, whatever I have written down. Nope. So let's see here. Uh, it was Shooter, Shooter, Wheeler, and Eddie Kingston taking on the Jericho Appreciation Society with Minoru Suzuka. I'm not going to try. I'm I'm not going to try and butcher Shota's last name. So yeah, um, the Jericho Appreciation Society, as I so rightfully predicted, won. That was actually a pretty good surf and turf match. It did change up the one thing. It was Darby Allen, Sting, and Shingo Takashi. Because Takahashi, the ticking time bomb, had a fever and couldn't go. Versus the Bull Club, baby. For life. Um, who am I winning this match? Oh, yeah. Sting! Darby Allen and Shingo won. They defeat the Bullet Club. I forget who ate the pin. I think El Phantasma did. That kind of made me go meh. Um, I was actually falling asleep during this match. A little bit. Just went back and forth. I think I started to have streaming issues. Cheeseburger match. This is not, This is the match I actually did sober up in. It was a pack. This was for all of them. called called the All Oceans Championship because, although yeah, not can call it All Atlantic Championship. It was Pack versus Miro versus some other guy because Ishii couldn't wrestle versus Malachi Black. 
I'll tell you what, I was shocked. I thought this was Mero's belt to lose. You lost, all right. Pac won. Pac is now your All-Atlantic champion. Solid match. I was, again, whenever you throw a little wrench in that, I always like that. Cheeseburger match. Then we had, let's just say we had FTR versus the United Empire versus Rapungi Vice. Uh, the United Empire, it was Great Ocon and Jeff Cobb. I had, I guessed that Rapungi Vice was going to win only because they were the least offensive politically. Because I know FTR still holds the AAA belt. And I don't think AAA and New Japan get along well because of... New Japan CMLL relations. So if you're well, not gonna be them. Who cares about United Empire? But FTR, they now hold all the tag team belts except for the AW tag team belts. Eventually, they'll probably get those two. Cheeseburger match. Probably the worst match. And I think for every AEW show, I'm going to... Whatever women are there, I'm just going to, like, skip. It was Thunder Rosa versus Tony Storm. People have been complaining about Thunder Rosa sandbagging her opponents. I'll tell you what, there were a few instances... Where I could see that. And it looked like there was a couple potatoes given. And a couple receipts received. Or potatoes received. And receipts given. This was not a good match. I don't know what it is. Thunder Rose is normally so good. Like there was that one. And I think. Why do I think Tony Storm busted her lip or something? And it just seemed to be just a, she just gave a flat out, said, hey, like, drop Thunder Rosa, like, either that or Thunder Rosa, like, dropped her on the head during one thing. Tony Storm, like, literally slapped the bejesus out of her and gave her a couple stiff shots and said, hey, I'm not freaking Ivelisse or Sky Blue or, oh, just... Red Velvet, not a jabroni woman. Cheerleader, Kelly, I, I forget. Yeah, this was not a good match. I'll tell you what. It was awkward. And it felt awkward and looked awkward. And it was super predictable. This match was a piece of toast. And the other thing is, like, nothing was in danger of slipping out either. Uh, let's see. Then we had, say, Will Ospreay versus Orange Cassidy. My Stone Cold Lock came through for me. The uh, Will Ospreay retained his, his U.S. Championship belt. Uh, Juice Robinson still has his. I don't know what's up with that. So this was an okay match. Cheeseburger match. Probably because I'm not a big fan. Orange Cassidy, who knows? I'll tell you what the the probably the best match of the night was Zack Saber Jr. versus um, Claudio Castano Castanogis. Can't pronounce that last name. Whoever Cesaro, whatever Cesaro's name, uh, Claudio, Claudio Castanivio, I guess. I, I'm so, so, I'm so sorry for butchering that name. It's not even, it shouldn't be funny, but yet it is. Um, I guess Zack Sabre Jr. was going to win because I had Johnny Gargano showing up. So I was wrong on both counts. Um, Zach, um, Claudio won. Solid. This was probably the 
best technical match? Surf and turf match. And then I kind of went back down a little bit. Um, yeah, I should have put that as my match of the night. Because it was the next match was the Switchblade Jay White. Because you know he's Bullet Club for life. Um, versus the Rainmaker Okada. Kazushika Okada. Dang it. Boom! Adam Cole, baby! Taking on Hangman Adam Page. Um, this was a good match. It just seemed like a cluster. Okada never hit a Rainmaker, or if he did, I missed it. Adam Cole, I think, hurt himself again. Because that it was a weird, it was a weird wonky ending. So yeah, I don't know what happened with that. Um, even during like the press interview, Tony Khan did not embrace Jay White the way he's embraced people in the past. Ah, it was an okay match though. Cheeseburger match. And finally, we have the for the AEW Championship match, we have John Moxley. Taking on the ace, go ace, Hiroshi, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Probably mispronounced his name too. Yeah, that's a tabulate. How many I did get it right? Let's see, here I got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's the right number. So, yeah. Um, John Moxley is the new interim champion. He's gonna have to face CM Punk again. Punk, uh, whenever CM Punk is, is better. Not necessarily a match you're looking forward to. I'll tell you what, John Moxley, for some reason, just likes to bleed. He likes to use the blade. In fact, I don't know who likes to bleed more, John Moxley or Cody Rhodes, because I've never seen anyone get hit with a sling blade before tumble out the ring and come and get up from a table being a bloody mess like he is and also I thought I thought he had like stitches on his arm and I realized it was like a barbed wire rose tattoo along his arm he probably got he probably his his wife likes that stuff and she probably likes him getting busted open the way he does and hey whatever those two do in the privacy of their own bedroom. Power to him. But yeah, uh, John Moxley won. He's the new AEW interim champion. I'll tell you what, the fact that John Moxley decided to bleed like a stuffed pig. Like, off of a sling blade too. Probably like the one move like you you'd really have to hit that hard to bust someone up. I gotta see if it was like forearms or elbows. Or pile drivers, or something that really contacts the top of your head, but something that gets you around the neck and you kind of get busted open up here. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. The ham sandwich match. How was that? That was AEW. Honestly, it wasn't. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. I think because they had so many matches, and they actually did fill in a lot of time. I think they had like four matches an hour. The one thing I'm not liking about AEW is that they're they're having like, and I hate to use the term mid card to like 20 minutes on a pay per view, and like that should not happen. Like if Cesaro, like the best thing about the Cesaro, the best thing about the match, Cesaro T is a quick win, a European uppercut, gosh style neutralizer, and pen attempt on Zack Saber Jr. If he would have won with that, boom! All the stars go out to him. 
doesn't matter. It's like that was the best way you could ever bring in anyone from the WWE. But no, they do what they do with him instead. Oh well. And that was it. Um, AEW Forbidden Door. So eventually, it's tomorrow, Wednesday. Yeah, I have only two more videos to catch up on. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's just a matter of me getting stuff done and getting things ready. Because then Friday's going to be, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Well, yesterday I was looking for jobs, so I'm like, yeah, do I want to focus here? What do I want to focus on? I need to focus. I need to get some sleep, too. Because I have to count all my aluminum in my phone tonight. Other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and you guys will see... I'll, you guys will see me post something tomorrow, too. Or later. Something like that. Bye.